For me, for example, I like to incorporate rest days or like restive, or restive, wow, active rest days. Oh, this lighting, are you joking? Damn it. I'm not gonna show you because feet are weird. Like, how can you even have a self care day without a bath? I know it's probably like ridiculously annoying that I drink the exact same smoothie every single morning. Another way that I practice self care on a regular basis is just by doing the shit that needs to be done. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a like self-care video. Uh, I'm showing you like my pamper routine, how I just like take care of myself and treat myself just to like be my best self, feel my best, uh, be happy and positive uh, for my mental health, all of that. Uh, but yeah, so I just thought maybe I could share some tips with you uh, how you could incorporate more of a self-care um, routine into your regular life. So let's jump right in to today. So today I started with some movement. What do you feel like doing? Like sometimes self-care is not doing any movement. Like sometimes you like you kill it every single day and you just need a break. And if that's you, by all means, let that be your self-care habit. For me, for example, I like to incorporate rest days or like restive, or restive, wow, active rest days <laughs> so that my body never really feels like it's burning out but I'm also still challenging myself on a regular basis. Today I did the 21 day fix real time dirty 30 workout. It's a quick 30 minute routine with all kinds of different moves so that you're getting like some cardio and some strength training. And I like to exercise because it's really, really important for my mental health. I've noticed such a big change in myself since I've started regularly like exercising. I usually work out first things in the morning there's a huge difference if I take a few days off just because like I'm feeling lazy not because like I had to take a few days off I really feel it I get like really down and my attitude sucks my body feels terrible it's just not a good thing for me so exercise is important so that's why it's included as the first thing that I do on my self-care days after I exercise of course I like to get cleaned up nobody wants to feel gross for the rest of the day so normally I'll like hop in the shower rinse off uh, but today I took things a little bit further, just so you, I really got that like pampered uh, feeling. I washed my hair and I got out of the shower and I put in my Olaplex number no. three um, repair treatment. I only do this like once a month maybe? I don't know, I have very thin fine hair so adding a lot of stuff to it really weighs it down. But with the Olaplex treatment you do have to have clean wet hair. so get out of the shower and then I put in the Olaplex treatment and I put on my face mask. I liked this one today. It is the Blue Matcha Mask by Wish. I got that in a FabFitFun box. I love it. It feels so nice. So while that was happening, I started running water for a bath. Typically, I don't have baths. I usually only have baths for like some kind of form of self-care if I don't feel good or something like that. So today, we're having a bath just because I really wanted to. <laughs> so I started running the bath. I lit a candle, got into the bath, and I put in a bath bomb because who doesn't love a bath bomb? Like, how can you even have a self-care day without a bath bomb? I'm just kidding, you totally can, but highly recommend trying them out. <laughs> I chilled in the bath for like 15 to 20 minutes while my hair treatment and my face mask worked its magic. Then I drained the tub and I had the rest of my shower. Does anybody else have like three types of showers? Like you have one shower where it's like a quick rinse off, you have another shower that's like you wash your hair and you do everything. You know what I mean? Like, okay, anyways. In the shower, I exfoliated my entire body with my favorite exfoliating scrub by Frank Body. This stuff is amazing. I love this scrub. It smells so good and it feels so good. Highly recommend trying it out. Oh, and by the way, if you want to check out any of these products, I will have a link to all of them in the description box below. So make sure you head down there after the video. Yeah, so I shaved everything. I feel great. Got out of the shower, moisturized my entire... 
And the next step is to get ready for the day. So how you get ready for the day really depends on you, how you feel, um, what you're doing that day, what feels good for you on that day, basically. So today is a work day for me, so I'm gonna get fully ready because that's what feels good for me. On a weekend or a day where I have nothing to film or I just don't want to get all done up, I'll just like make sure I do my skincare in the morning. Um, I'll like brush my hair and add some like oil. I'll put on like a cute and comfy outfit. But like I said, today is a work day. So I just finished doing my hair. I'm finishing up my makeup and then we're gonna move on to breakfast. <laughs> I know it's probably like ridiculously annoying that I drink the exact same smoothie every single morning, but honestly, works for me. I crave it still, so don't fix what ain't broke. <laughs> don't know. But I really like to have this smoothie because it gets everything I need in it. It's like 27 grams of protein. Um, I have three servings of vegetables and fruit in here. I have some good healthy fats, and it just tastes really good. But don't worry, this isn't all I'm having. A nice thick slice of banana bread here. This will fill me up and also soothe my soul, you know? Mm. Okay, so this is the part of the day where I like to sit on the couch, get comfy. I really like to take my morning slow on a regular basis. Um, but yeah, so I'll drink my smoothie and then going to journal first. I kind of just write whatever comes to me. Um, I talk about how I like felt yesterday, how I'm feeling so far today, uh, how my workout went. Just kind of just like a brain dump of whatever I feel like talking about in that moment. This is definitely, yeah, it's just been a really good way to like get out of my own head, put it down on paper, and just kind of like get rid of it, if that makes sense. And then I also kind of want to see my growth. So I like to look back at this um, every so often and just kind of see how far I've come. So, wouldn't be my journal if it wasn't completely covered in glitter. So next, I like to go into this cute little notebook and create like a weekly to-do list. This is kind of the notebook that like I plan with my YouTube stuff in and kind of just like um, write down like all of my ideas and things. Things that I want to do today. First thing, I need to set up my planner for the week. I'm going to write that down because who doesn't love crossing things off their list? What do I want to do after? Hmm. Okay, so short and sweet. Um, just a few things to do today, but they're gonna take up a little bit of my time. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set up my planner for the day. So today is a Monday, so it's a little bit more of an exciting planner day because I have to do the whole thing. So for example, this is what last week looked like. A new week. like self-care to some people uh, but this is self-care to me because my best self is 
one that is like organized and feels ready and put together and doing like my journaling and my like week and day planning really sets me up to have the best possible day. I can get more done. I feel better about what I'm getting done because I'm not just doing random stuff that wasn't as important in that moment. So that's a huge self-care tip in my opinion. The better you set yourself up, the better you're gonna feel. So super important one. And now it is time to get to actual work. Blue light glasses because they really do work. I don't care if it looks stupid. I don't get any headaches and I'm on my computer for like eight hours a day almost now. Two hours later. Another way that I practice self-care on a regular basis is just by doing the shit that needs to be done. As much as it sucks, there is laundry to be folded. And if I want to feel good and take care of myself, that includes taking care of this. And just like that, I have one less thing to worry about. Yesterday, I ran out of time and I didn't get to do my manicure and pedicure that I had been planning, but that is okay because the whole point of this video, the whole point of everything I'm trying to talk about is that you can incorporate self-care habits into your daily life. It doesn't need to create pressure for you. It doesn't need to be another chore. You know what I mean? Like you don't need to have this big long list of things that you need to do to take care of yourself because I feel like that just creates the stress that we're trying to eliminate with this self care. So I didn't let it get me down yesterday. I was like, I'll just do it tomorrow. It's fine. And here we are doing it. So I painted my toes already. I'm not going to show you because feet are weird, um, but I use this fun, color so now I feel like I'm going to the beach even though I'm stuck inside for the foreseeable future but so I went ahead and I did my whole like manicure already so you can see I filed my nails um, pushed my cuticles cut my cuticles picked up my colors all the fun stuff is happening my nails I mean they're okay <laughs> uh, but I'm going to get back to work now and finish editing this video so I can post it this afternoon so I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned some tips on how you can incorporate self-care habits into your regular life I also hope you are understanding and realizing the importance of self-care habits whether you incorporate them on a daily basis or you do one self-care day like a week or something like that highly recommend for everybody super important to take care of yourself try to put yourself first at least once in a while and like i said the more put together you feel the better you are like as a person uh the better you're able to uh get through life the more likely you're going to succeed uh, all kinds of things like that and again I just really want you to sit down and evaluate what self-care means to you because maybe you're not this person that wants to do face masks and hair masks and paint their nails and whatever sit down and really think about what makes you feel good what's important to you on a regular basis that you've been slacking on and just try to fit them into your daily life super important but anyways 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please make sure you give it a like because it will really help me out to grow my channel. Also, make sure if you haven't already that you subscribe because I am posting three videos a week right now. You definitely don't want to miss them. So thanks so much for watching you guys. I will see you in the next one.